I was pleased by the way my little nameplate turned out using this Carbide Create software. But perhaps uh, you, like myself, are wondering, is it capable of more complicated tasks, something, uh, a design more complex? So today we're going to find out. A friend of mine is very fond of these Celtic type uh, emblems and symbols. It's perhaps not well known outside of Spain. In the north of Spain there is a region including Galicia where Celtic um, customs are, are still followed with bag bagpipes and all the other symbolism. And I found this symbol which is quite complex and I thought we'd have a go at, uh, at making it. Looking back in Carbide Create now, if we go and clear our drawing, the stock we are going to use, so I've set my stock size to 90 by 90. The workpiece is actually 100, but uh, we'll make it 90 for reasons that will become apparent. The stock is 18 millimeters high, and we reference them from the top. I'm going to make toolpath zero the center this time. It's a soft wood, and uh, we can leave the machine as that's the Shipoko, and the retract height just 3mm. So let's OK that. So here we have our 90mm square. I've obviously downloaded the image that we want. Clearly the imported image is, uh, is far too big, so we're going to have to scale that. Choose the Scale or Resize tool, and the width to be our 90 Now we can place it within our material. Let's just reset the view once again. And I've turned off the snap to grid so that I can do the sort of fine adjustment here. And that just fits within our square quite nicely. So our tool path is going to be a V carve. And I should be using my 22mm V bit once again and leaving the, the speeds and feeds to be calculated by the program. With our tool path in place, we can now have a look at the simulation. Let's wait for it to calculate that. Well, that's a little odd. We can see our nice simulation here, but the background board is the wrong size. Uh, let's just Flip it up. Yes, we can see that it's going to be a nice V-carve shape. The only question is, is it going to be a quarter of the of the size? As always, what I do in this instance is to save the G-code and then load it into a simulator so that we can actually see uh, what it is rather than this view. I believe this is possibly a bug in Carbide Create. Uh, Material size is, is certainly correct. Let's take a look at it now uh, in the simulator and then we can uh, take a view as to whether we can cut with it or not. Once again in my favorite editor, the Notepad++. If you don't use it, you should. Links in the description as always. We now paste that into our window and simulate. We can see here that the size is correct. Uh, as I've set the center of the piece to be the XY zero, uh, there's no surprise here, it's going minus 43 and plus 43, which makes around about 89 millimeters, which is uh, where it should be. Similarly on the, on the Y, so it certainly is the right size. The simulation in Carbide Create is, uh, is incorrect in this instance. Our Z goes down to minus 6.7, so we know the piece is 18 millimeters high, so that looks to be good. Let's get it onto the machine and, uh, and run it. Here we are set up for the job. Now I've taken my uh, router and just made a little uh, edge molding there. And that's why this piece is, is 90, but the block is, is 100. I've marked out the, the center. As you remember, we've offset from the center on this particular job. And the next thing I'm going to do is set the zero for the height. And uh, I'm going to make shift 
uh, arrangement at the back. I must uh, find a different uh, way of doing the dust collection. So I'm just going to zero the Z and then uh, off we go. I've done a little clean up on the on the piece and that's just printed off the the original. It is quite fascinating looking at the the different cats. Um, they are quite uh, individual. With this view you can see more of the the V carve uh, type of effect. Obviously much deeper in the in the center there where the where the black areas are. I'm going to have a go at painting this and that's not a skill which uh, comes naturally to me so I'll uh, attempt to show you the end result if you don't see the end result in this video it's because uh, I made a mess of it now the finished uh, project um, very pleased with it okay uh, what can we say probably looks best from a distance yeah several hundred meters maybe no it's um, rustic around here in uh, in Andalusia, they would say artisanal. Maybe I will be an artist one day. <laughs>